G'day and welcome back. I'm Faintly Saintly and this is Big Ambitions. Uh, now, if you watched my Supermarket Simulator gameplay at all, I did keep referencing back to this game as a, a similar sort of simulation of running a business, including the stocking and the staffing and that kind of thing. And uh, I've just always had an inkling to go back and play it again. It has been quite a long time for me, well over a year, I believe. Uh, and I had a look and there's just been a recent fairly big update to the game as well. And that includes things like Rivals, who actually compete with your business directly. Like they will act to uh, interfere with your business and take you down as competition. So I thought, well, that's an interesting addition to the game. And I thought it'd be a good time to jump back in and have a look. So we're just in the character creator here. And uh, I'm not quite sure... <laughs> what the deal is with some of these randomly generated characters, but um, that's okay. They're all a bit funny looking. Uh, I am Mr. Saintly. There we go. Got the choice of two faces. Both very attractive. Do the slick back blue hair. Hello. There we go. Now that's a businessman. <laughs> uh, red suit. Got to do it, don't we? Red suit and the <laughs> converse. I'm ready to do a business. Oh, that's disgusting. I can't. Can't handle that hair color. Horrible. Okay. Oh dear lord. Alright, we'll keep it simple. We'll keep it simple. Oh, no, stick to my colour scheme. There we go, get some nice red shoes there. There we go. Mr. Saintly is born. That's it. <laughs> what is with the proportions? Oh man. Um is it a slider? No, it's just you give it. <laughs> you can <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's just go with it. Mr. Saintly, there he is. Ready for his job at the business factory. It'll be three months since grandma died. I know that I'm an adult now. I'm 18 years old, but still, it feels so scary that no one is there to take care of stuff. There's one good thing though, at the funeral, my uncle Fred asked me for my phone number. He said he wanted to help me get on my feet. I don't really know him, but I guess he's family after all. But there is a little bit of story, and from what I can remember, Uncle Fred, he's, you know, you start with nothing, just a small loan of a million dollars. It's more like a few thousand dollars, I think. And I think he acts as the tutorial, so he gets you sort of started with all the basic stuff. Hey kid, I hope I'm you're hoping it's better. not too hand holding anyway, too overbearing, but we'll see. with a friend of mine, Richard. He's kind of a big shot. Well, the bottom line is uh, he has a cheap apartment that uh, yeah. you could probably afford. It's not much, but it'll do. Okay. Why well, is there a woman laying on the street? Anyway, welcome to the world of big ambitions. This is my city. Uh, I can't actually remember how to control. There we go. So, Uncle Fred has said to travel to and rent 3rd Street 45, or 45 3rd Street, and then sleep until full energy. So you do have basic human needs. You've got energy, I recall. You, you need to keep fed. And you need to uh, manage your happiness as well. That means you can't just work, work, work non-stop with no breaks, no recreation. So there's a few little different resources to manage there. So this is Bizman. This manages things like your character, contacts, employees, businesses, all that good stuff. And we've just interacted with this building, which is the rental that we want, or that we need to do for the tutorial, basically. 1,320 deposit. Okay. Uh, electrical appliances. And daily rent of $44. Well, we need to do it, so let's just do it. Again, I'll try not to get too bogged down in the uh, 
tutorial stuff. Wake up at seven o'clock. Um, because I don't know how how intense and handholdy and boring it is. I'm hoping it just sets you on your way pretty soon, but we'll see. We'll see. And um, I also transferred a couple of bucks to your bank account because uh, I want to make sure you get something to eat. Okay, promise me. Thank you, Uncle Fred. So, he's transferred me a bit of money, so that's why I had money to start with. And he wants me to buy a fridge, place the fridge, buy three units of fresh food, put the food in the fridge, and eat some food. So, let's have a look at the map here. So it's, I think it's meant to be New York, or a representation of. Um, and you can see here, this is where we started. This is the apartment. And we're renting, and over here is the appliances store, just at the end of the street. So, oh, I've slept for 12 hours, was it? And she's been just sitting there the whole time. Good for her, so. I don't recall too much about the apartment, but I know you could buy, you know, your furniture, your fridges, bed, maybe other recreational computer, maybe. Um... House is closed. Opens in one hour. Um, yeah, so there's all sorts of different sort of things to think about in terms of furniture. There's all sorts of different uh, features and activities and things. All right, Square Appliances is open. Here we go. I'm buying a standard fridge. Eighteen hundred dollars. Oh no, it's a flat pack. Where's the checkout? Backwards. Hooray. Whoa. Printing with the fridge. <laughs> uh, this is the El Gato food market. I'm wondering if I can purchase fresh food while I'm here. Need a shopping basket. No. Damn. I was hoping I could kill two birds with one stone there, but I guess not. So we will sprint. What is going on in this city? People just laying on the street left and right. Anyway, I will run the fridge back. Furnish the apartment. There it is. Okay. Place. In the kitchen, there we go. Um, oops, oops. Thought I'd rotate that. There we are. Okay. <laughs> Look at him run. Oh no. Alright, we're going back to El Gato Food Market. Buying at least three units of fresh food. My understanding is you always need food, so... Oh, is that it? No. Um, so I might just buy a few more. Hey, settle down. I'm walking here. Um, I'll grab my basket. I can't remember if fresh food expires. I'll get five fresh food. Oh, can I put frozen food? I'll grab a couple of those as well. $73. Cost of living has gone insane. Okay. That'll keep me going for a couple of days, maybe. Can't go over this walk. This running animation. Imagine just seeing that run past you. Legal eagle, kebabs, kebabs. All sorts of businesses, I presume, are randomly generated around the city. Um, okay. I'm gonna eat a fresh food. Oh, uh, sorry, food bar is full. Hey, kid. I've gone ahead and paid your first rent, but that's Thanks. it, okay? You need to get out there and get a job. Anything at all. You just need a salary right now. Yes, Uncle Fred. I need to get a job at El Gato. You told me to do that first, and then I would have just picked up the food on the way home. 
best jeans? Uh, that's a real business, isn't it? Sure. Come on. Can you get in trouble for like randomly generating business names that are evidently real? How do I get a job? Look at these bloody lines. You guys need some help. Job board. Here we go. Serve customers at the cash register. Saturday to Thursday, 8 to 4. $25 an hour. Start tomorrow at 8 a.m. Okay. What do I do until then? <laughs> Let's have a look here. Got some rivals. Wang Guo, 42 years old, 22 businesses in Midtown. David Smith, David Daniels. Okay, so we've got characters. I guess these are the primary rivals. Then you've got some uh, randomly generated like NPCs to fill the gaps in between. So, oh, here I am, number 20. No businesses, no dollars per week. Still made the top 20. It's that easy, folks. Don't have any employees or businesses. A towing service. Energy, hunger, happiness. First day in New York. Okay, it is New York. Gives me a little bit of a buff. Personal goals. Okay. Market insider. Cono view. So, you know, property prices, stock prices, inventory prices, they all vary. Um, all things you have to think about. It can get quite in depth. Five fries. Slider shack. Where am I going? Kebabs, kebabs. Where's my house? Oh, here it is. I guess. Do I just go to sleep? I suppose. Had a big day. I bought a fridge and I put some food in it. I mean. What's happening? Oh, there we go. Um, I've earned a. 12, 18, uh, let's say, how long do I need to get to work? An hour? I actually don't know. I'm just going to sleep for 17 hours. That's healthy and fulfilling. My empty apartment. $44 of rent is paid. Alright, I'm hungry. Eat fresh food. Hell yeah, let's go. I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> oh man, look at this. It's just so keen to get to work, he can't even run straight. Get this man in a back brace or something. Okay, it doesn't quite take me an hour to eat food and get to work. Um, can I start early? Start working. Look, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm working. Are you proud of me, Uncle Fred? Fast forward. Alright, the good news is you can just skip time. You don't have to sit there and watch me bag groceries for eight hours. And I'm done. Hooray. Uh, I'm gonna buy some... Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not going to buy anything, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave this hellhole. I'm sick of this place and I'm sick of you. I need to earn $300. I think I've just earned, what, 200 I think. So, two days at work will be enough to satisfy Uncle Fred's ridiculous demands. Um, I do need to eat, so I'm gonna eat frozen food. No, oh, that's not very good at all, is it? Now, hold on. Uh... Tomorrow, okay. Eight to, yep, I was making sure I was working tomorrow. I'll get up at... 7.20. for the uh, mental health to sleep the majority of every day. Fresh 
food, please. Ready to go. Ready for another big adventure in the city. Okay, so I earned $156 yesterday, so it was $200 from work, minus $44 from rent. There we go. Raking it in already. Such a good employee, I'm going to start work 10 minutes early. And I'm going to black out for the entirety of my shift. Wonderful. Alright. I've earned enough money. You got a job. Well done. You're a chip off the old block. Just like your dad. I think he was probably just about your age when he started his first business. Look, if you need a loan to start something, I got a friend over at uh, Jensen Capital. His name is Larry, okay? That's who you ask for. And be sure to say hi from me, your Uncle Fred, okay? Take out a loan of $15,000. Fred, that's terrible advice, isn't it? Find and rent a retail building, maximum 75 meters squared in garment districts, using Google Maps. About a gift shop. Quit your job. <laughs> okay. Hello, sir. I want some money, please. No, you're not the money man. You're the money man. Yes. You can't sit down while holding an item. Okay. Now I'm lost. That's a little bit rigid. I don't agree with that. Put the bag down. Put down next to the bag. Talk to the man. Get your free money. Pick up the bag and leave. But that's okay. I will slowly run all the way back here. Load up my fridge. Get some fresh food. And then gimp run all the way back to get my payday loan which the experts all agree sound financial decision disclaimer this is not financial advice this is a joke just in case all right talk to me man i would like a loan please 20 percent interest rate that's fantastic fifteen thousand dollars I can pay $62 a day with $9 interest as well. It's easy as that. Do you need to see my documents? Do you need to know that I've, I'm gainfully employed? I don't think it matters to these people. Find and rent a retail building maximum 75 meters squared. All right, let's look at Google Maps. Garment District. Alright, that's where we are. Beautiful. This is the Garment District. I want to rent a retail building. There's two here. Just up from my house. Could go across the road. That's a short walk, but these are closer to other amenities maybe? 75, 15, was that popularity or capacity? 25, 15, 19, 23, so there's a bit more traffic. Uh, are they, do I see prices? Do I see prices? No. Uh, I'll just go 44. Early rent, 18. Initial payment, 678. So we have a down payment. Not for sale, but we can make an offer. Not with my $15,000 loan, though, I'm sure. So we've got traffic index, customer capacity, and the neighborhood. Done. Um, I'll start a new business, please, because I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm an 18-year-old with no family and a sudden windfall. I should start a gift shop. Okay, so they've done the hard work for us. You can see there's different numbers of competing businesses in the area. Ten fruit and vegetable stores, which is odd for the garment district, you would think. But uh, you know what? That's fine. But there are no gift shops. So, seems like a sound business decision. I'm going to call this Saintly Gifts. 
How am I going to go? Right, temporarily closed. We need a primary product. We need a cash register or a checkout. We need a stack of shopping baskets. We have no products to sell. We have no points of sale. We have no baskets. Promotion. Okay, that's a combination of the traffic index, the foot traffic walking past or driving past, and my marketing. Um, okay, so you can see customers over time. You can see customer capacity, satisfaction, inventory, pricing, scheduling. When you get employees, you can set their shifts and also work out what they're doing, cleaning, stocking, selling. We can set up uh, regular deliveries from suppliers. We can start marketing campaigns and we can choose logos and other customization for the business and you can browse files that's interesting so you can really get freaky with it saintly god oh, oh, oh saintly gifts and we're going oh that's a disgusting font beautiful that is, that is beautiful. Save. Amazing. All right, moving on. Quit your job at the local supermarket. That seems like a bad move. I mean, that what kind of work ethic does that show? <laughs> I got the job, worked two shifts just so I could apply for a $15,000 loan and then I'm just going to quit. I believe that is fraud. How do I quit? Ah, quit job. You have to run all the way back here for that. Okay. Talk to me, Freddy boy. So, you're a gift shop owner now, huh? Yeah, very good. Very good. Now we've got some shopping to do. We'll get you some furniture and uh, some really nice products to sell in there. And uh, I also wanted to mention I uh, recently invested in a car dealership and we found kind of an old wreck of a car in the workshop in the back, but it still runs. It's not much, but it's yours if you want it. The key's in the glove compartment. Thank you, Fred. I want your free death trap car. Honda, a Honza Mimic. That's not bad. What's wrong with you, Freddy? I said it was a bloody bomb. I could just sell it. <laughs> ah, you found the car. Good. Now, don't get any parking tickets. As I said earlier, it's time to pick up some stuff for your new store. You're going to use your new car. Or continue running around with the hand trucks. It's up to you. I don't know if the music in this game is copyrighted. Uh, is that going to... Surely not. Uh, pop the radio down just a little bit. Oh, I could choose my own radio station. Maybe I can just put some unlicensed music on there, but we'll worry about that another time. We are here to buy a cabinet, a cash register, a stack of shopping baskets, and a rounded shelf. So this is just a big old furniture shop, as you can see. We need a rounded shelf, very modern, very modern looking. We need a stack of shopping baskets. We need a cabinet with drawers and a cash register. And nope, that's the ceiling lamp. There it is. Cabinet, cash register, back of shopping baskets, rounded shelf. Let's go. Three grand. Done. Can I load this in my car? I can. Can I load this in the car? I can. I just stole a hand trolley. It'll come in handy. Now I need to go to Saint the Gifts and drop off. Um, oh, okay. I was going to say, it's funny he said he can't, you know, don't get a parking ticket. 
Uh, you can get parking tickets if you park, if you just leave a car on the footpath or something like that, so... I'm just gonna park in the lines like a good citizen. I'm going to get my hand trolley out. I'm gonna get all my furniture out. I'm gonna run across the road without looking. Welcome to my business. It's all happening here. Alright, I need a cabinet. Place. Uh, there. I need my cash register. Place. There. I'm going to place my, <coughs> excuse me, stack of shopping baskets. Right there in the doorway and my rounded shelf. Bam. It's all coming together. I'm going to leave this in my car. Oh, very, very nice. Starting to look like a real store now. Next, we have to buy some things for you to sell. And for the time being, you have to go to a wholesale store. But eventually, down the road, you'll do a whole lot better by importing directly from the manufacturer overseas. That's right, you can import. Um, Metro Wholesale. I'll look at my map. I'll turn that off. I want... I want... Wholesale. Metro Wholesale is 200 meters that way. I'm just checking that it's actually... Open. No, it opens at 6 a.m. But let's not do that right now. Let's go to bed. Uh, I think my house is here. Yes. So yeah, you have to keep it on the time. Every business has its own, you know, hours and things like that. Uh, opens at 6. I'm going to wake up at 5.20. How do I make profit that day? Don't know. And eat fresh food. I thought I bought some frozen food. Did that glitch out and turn everything into fresh food? I'm not going to complain. I get in my car and go for a little cruise over to Metro Wholesale. We want some cheap gifts. We want some paper bags. Oh, I'm going to crash into a parked truck. Luckily it's 6 in the morning and no one's awake to see it. I do recall your car has um, that music is making me very nervous. Um, you do have car sort of uh, condition. I, you might need petrol as well. I'm struggling to see where that is in the UI. Maybe I ah oh, here it is down here. Storage, uh, fuel, and condition. Nice. Okay, park the vehicle. Let's go. Oh, no, let's go in. Scooters. <laughs> Alright, I need... Gift. Cheap. I need... I need a trolley, that's what I need. Alright, I've got some cheap gifts. I've got some paper bags. I'm gonna buy... I'm gonna buy two lots of cheap gifts because I'm daring. Clothing. Frozen food. Um, okay, cheap gifts, paper bags. Let's go. Where am I over here? Load up the car. Steal another hand trolley. That's gonna take a little shortcut over here. Probably shouldn't drive like a total maniac because this will cost me money to repair. And I've turned down the wrong street. Just like in real life. Zero sense of direction. Oh, where are you driving, man? I was here. 
doesn't matter that you have right of way. It's about being safe, not being right. Okay. Parking the vehicle, getting the hand truck, getting the gifts and the paper bags. Let's go. Into saintly gifts. Cheap gifts. 200 out of 200. Easy as that. Paper bags. In the cabinet. Beautiful. What do I do with these gifts? Pop them here. Great work, kiddo. Now it's Thanks. time to open up and start handling some cash, making some money. I'm crossing my fingers. Me too, Uncle Freddy. All right, bizman. Bizman. Businesses. Mainly gifts. We're open. Security. I hope nobody comes in and steals my cheap gifts. Schedule. Every day, 8 to 4. Sounds reasonable. It's 8.50. Am I open right now? Yes. Start working. I've completely misaligned this register and cabinet. Are you buying some cheap gifts? You are. They bought one cheap no, gift. No. This item is not monitored by security cameras. Okay, this game has definitely changed a lot since I last played. I don't recall there being security no. cameras. No. Uh, I don't recall setting the price for these. Lowest market price 18, my price 18. Zero sold at 18? What do you mean? I've sold a handful, haven't I? Maybe it's not counting live. Uh, what if I... What if I just... Uh, just give him one of them. Skip time. Cheap gifts are still cheap if they're 18 or $19. Alright, we're closed. It is 8 o'clock. We sold. We sold 55 cheap gifts. That's incredible. And that's just how easy it is to do business in the real world. You buy some shit, you chuck it on a shelf and you rent a shop and people will just come in and buy it. So we need to run this business for two days. For the current objective. So I'm just going to run home. I'm going to grab a quick bite to eat. And I'm going to sleep until... What do I start? 8. And then I'm going to go 7.36. Let's go. I'm going to quickly grab a, another bite to eat. Breakfast. And we'll run across. Back to work. Then we'll see what we have to do next. Donut days. Hello. So, I see you opened a business in our neighborhood, Garment District. Listen, Junge, you're more than welcome here, but really remember who owns this neighborhood. So, don't get any big ideas. Cheers. Who are you, lady? Look at the floor. It's filthy. I think people like a filthy gift shop, though. Please come in and buy my $19 mugs. I can see why that business lady was um, threatened by me. I have a filthy little store with 200 mugs for sale. And frankly, I, I, I can't see me being stopped. Let's time skip. That's two days. What do you want from me? Sold even more gifts that day. Wowee. we Why not run the store for two days? I think Uncle Fred, you know, he has a bit of a drinking problem. Um, so you can't blame him if he... Sometimes he loses track of time a little bit. Help me out. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. We'll just let this one slide. 
But, you know, if he doesn't lift his game, I'm going to have to talk to Mum and say, listen, your brother's out of control. That's a lot of profit for selling a bunch of <laughs> overpriced mugs. Okay, there's my two days up. Little Fred has woken from his slumber. Well, look at you, hustling around and stacking cash already. I tell you, your dad would have been so proud. I think it's Thanks. time for your first hire. And don't forget to take that course at the Business Administration School so you know what you're doing, all right? Okay. Complete the basic management course. Start a recruitment campaign for customer service employees at Anderson Recruitment Corp. Wait for the agency to send you the first candidate. Hire a customer service employee. Assign the employee to the cash register using the schedule. How do I complete a course? I start working now. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, I can knock off work, make it to the employment agency, and maybe start the course before the end of the day. We'll see. All right. Done. How many? Did I not? Did I not sell a mug? Did I not sell? Business is closed today. <laughs> Business. Business is closed today. I, I stood at the counter in my closed shop for eight hours um, because I just really like standing in an empty room, a filthy empty room filled with overpriced novelty mugs. Instead of studying. I mean, I could be studying, but who wants to do that? Oh. Okay. What am I doing? The basic management course. Let's go. 10 hours remaining. $30 per hour. If I study for three hours, I'll be dead. Do it. So it's like a bit of a night class thing happening. I'm going to starve. Uh, where's my home? Why didn't I drive the car? I was too shell-shocked from manning a closed register for eight hours that I forgot that I owned a vehicle. Look, it happens to the best of us. Really. I don't know about you, but... You know, I can't say I've turned up to work on a... On a day that not only was I not rostered on, but that the, the business wasn't even operating. Just how passionate I am. Uh... Wake up at... 7.30... <laughs> lost profit that day. Also lost eight hours of my life. Alright, I am going to also need to find time to purchase... Get the hell out of here. Find time to purchase some food, because I'm running low. Uh, schedule. Okay. Definitely open today, right? You know what? I'm going to do a six-hour shift today because I'm the boss and I can do what I want. And if anyone complains because they come in at you know, half past two in the afternoon and my business is closed and they're going to complain, I'm going to tell them where they can stick it because I'm the boss. And I've got better things to do, like to run over here and pump out three hours of my advanced business management course. Can I stand by that? Oh, I can do five and a half hours tonight. No, I need to do a bit less. I need to get to the supermarket. I'll, I'll study until seven. I'm sure I'll be starved and 
half dead. But you gotta uh, you gotta learn to earn, right? That's what my rich uncle Fred always told me. Who was that supermarket? I think it was over here. Stock up on some delicious food. Need a basket. Let's get the basket. Is that ice cream? You son of a gun. What was some ice cream? I get some. Ah, oh, I wasn't buying frozen food. I was buying fresh food from a different fridge. Okay. Hundred dollars on food and a whole bunch of ice cream. Ah, huh? that's that's business for you. Part of having an attuned business mind is knowing that 33% of your food purchases should be ice cream. I'm going to challenge anyone to disagree with that. Okay. Ate the fresh food. Went to bed. 7.27. I'm just going to quickly jump in and check my hours for the day. Still making profit, not a huge amount of profit, but some. Biz man, gift shop. What hours are you doing today? Pump that back up to eight, I think. Uh, pump that back up to eight. I'm going to eat some ice cream because that's the breakfast of business champions. Is this? I can, I can pay $20 to rent the scooter. Oh, man. Just like in the real... Why is it 4 a.m.? Uh, did I just sleep to a random hour? Oh, I might have been looking at sleeping for seven hours, not waking up at seven. If the business school opens early, I'll sneak a couple of hours in before work. It does not. So I'm going to just hobble on back over here. I talk to people? No. Um, what can I do? What can I do? I suppose... I... Look. The school opens at six. I'll do... I'll do an hour and a half. Right? I'm gonna sleep on this bench. 50 minutes. And I'm going to take 3 minutes to walk to this door. I'm in. I'm in and I'm here to learn. I'm going to study for an hour. And 30 minutes. Let's skip that. So I've nearly done my course. My life is a mess. I ate ice cream for breakfast and then I slept on a park bench. But, I am just hours away from my business course, business management course. Yep, I can definitely see why that business lady was threatened. Oh, get in there, will ya? Do your job. What's my stock like? 172. Oh, it's open now. I better just start. I like when stores play music. It's awkwardly quiet in here. No one asked you, lady. Buy a mug and get the hell out. Alright. Time to get... Bam. Alright. Nearly through all my gifts. Really need to clean the floor. Okay. Gonna run home. Gonna have some. Uh, what's good? Oh, I don't know. Ice cream for dinner. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna wake up early. I'm gonna wake up at 5:40 because I'm gonna smash this course out before work. 
I'm still making a decent profit. My life is an absolute joke. Oh, that was a waste. Hello. Um, yeah. But anyway. I'm here to learn not to make out with you. What do I want to do after this? Look at all these people sleeping. Alright. Complete the basic management course. Start a recruitment campaign for customer service employees. So that means I can hire somebody to do the dirty work for me. I go in here. I only have 46 minutes remaining. Let's smash that out right now. And off I go. We need time to get to work. But I don't know what that course actually does for me, whether that just unlocks staff management or whether it improves something for me. Point is it's done. Alright, I'm gonna start this day early. Hopefully I can sneak over to the employment agency wherever that is. And Um, get in there before they close. God, I'm hungry. That's annoying. All right. And then drive towards my house. Find a little park. Here we go. Oh. The reverse park. Masterful. Masterful. Barely even touched the other car. Eat. Heal out of here like a maniac. And pray that this place is still open at probably five o'clock. There it is. Alright, just gonna do the old backwards reverse park. Just ding up that car in front of me a little bit, that's fine. Let me in. No, <laughs> I missed it. Oh well. I didn't check what time they opened. Maybe I can. Um, they're in the morning? No, they open at 8. Jesus. Or maybe I can start work late tomorrow. Oh, handbrake. Okay, my car is. Two thirds total. Um, let's be careful of that. Just gonna load up on some food. Frozen food's gone up. Bloody cost of living crisis, I tell you. Where's the horn? Can I? There might not be a horn, that's disappointing. Uh, this isn't my house. <laughs> Where am I? Nope, done the complete wrong way. Look out, idiot. Shopping. Chuck it in there. Gonna have a little nap. No, before I do, I'm gonna go biz man. Saintly gifts schedule. I'm gonna work from. Does give me enough time? We'll try it. I'll go ten to six. 
wake up at 7.20, quick breakfast, drive to the employment agency, drive home, have a snack if I need it, go to work, make bank on novelty mugs. Back to the grind set, here we go. So they open in about 20 minutes. It coincide nicely with my arrival. Should I drop like this? Stop, stop, stop. I can sleep in my car. That's cool. Why am I renting an apartment? What a waste. Five, four, three, two, one. Let me in. So, a recruitment campaign. You. For saintly gifts, I want a customer service employee. Uh, full time, part time. Yeah, oof. give me, uh, give me one, give me one, one candidate, and I want you to deliver in one day. I want the perfect employee. Don't let me down. Hey, yeah, I'm driving here. God, people in the city are so arrogant. Oh, jeez. Alright, I don't need a snack, I can go straight to work. And what I'm going to do if I'm quick enough is get my biz man out and go to use faintly gifts, go to schedule. Pop that back, I'll start at 9 now. How's that sound? No downtime then, just get in. And get it done. Boom. Alright, down to 100 gifts. Uh, I might have a couple here. 9. Well, once my employee starts, that'll free me up to go shopping. Buy more gifts, buy more paper bags, buy more shelves, maybe mop the floor, you know. The little things. I'm gonna eat a frozen meal and then I'm going to go to bed. Uh here's let me just have a look. Is this open every day? Every day except Sunday. What I can do though is go in to the schedule and put this back to eight to four. Sleep until seven thirty. Now I fully expect that I'll get a message or a call from the employment agency. And they'll be like, Mr. Sainley, we've got you the perfect full-time employee. They don't want any fancy benefits. They want minimum wage. They will stand at this cash register for eight hours a day, every day, and they won't complain. And they'll just do it and get it done. I received a message. How do I check my messages? go. Why is this in text message? I'm sure I did this in person. Hello, we've completed the campaign. All candidates have been sent to your My Employees app. Everything's got a bloody app these days. Jason Jones, $17 an hour. Primary school customer service, full time. You know what, buddy? What does this button do? No. Thought I deleted him. That's a. Why would I give him two thousand dollar bonus? Uh, he wants full time work, and he doesn't like evening shifts. You know what, buddy? Of course, of course. I want to create a new uniform, and this is the saintly gifts uniform. And you're going to be dressed in this ugly 
Ugly polo, ugly green. No, well, the store's red, isn't it? The sign is. Red polo, bright orange, yellow shorts. Ugly, ugly boots. Headf Why are you wearing headphones? No headphones at work, buddy. You're wearing a visor. You're wearing a yellow visor. And security vest and bulletproof vest. Um, no, I don't think you need that. I think... Okay, the women, they need a little, they need the yellow shorts as well. Um, and your visor needs to be yellow. There we go. Got to have it even. Your shoes aren't ugly enough. You need, uh, oh, there you go. There you go. No. There you go. Yellow heels. You look like a clown. And that's, that's how we roll at Saintly Gifts. All right, so. You wear the Saintly Gifts uniform. And I'm going to manage your schedule. You want full-time work. And full-time work means... I don't know what that means. Uh, employees. Jason. Between 30 and 50. All right, we're closing. We're closing. No, we'll stay open Saturdays. I'll work Saturdays. Monday, no. All right. All right, here's what's happening. Jason Jones. Eight to four. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But he can work up to 50 hours and he's happy, right? Congratulations, Jason. You just earned yourself a Saturday shift. That's all I need. Buddy, you are going to make my life. Very much better. And I will make yours better because I'm paying you 17 whole dollars an hour, you 42-year-old gift shop worker. Welcome. Welcome to the team. Well, look at who's the boss. You did a good job on that hire, kid. I know having an employee takes a big cut out of what you're taking in. Uh, but it also gives you extra time. Time to uh, uh, start cleaning up these floors. Oh, man, they're a bit nasty. You're a bit nasty, mate. You shut the hell up about my business. All right, well, I've been at it for a while. This has been the first 12 days of Big Ambitions. If this is something you enjoyed seeing, you want to see more of, let me know, because I'm quite happy to make this a series, if people like it. Um, as I said, I had the hankering to play this one again anyway, especially after the updates. So, look, once we get through this tutorial phase, um, it will really open up, and there's a lot to this game. So this is just scratching the surface. Uh, but, you know, we have an employee. Next up, we're going to get some cleaning happening. I'm going to have my days free again so I can do some restocking, expanding, more businesses, uh, more you know, features and products in this store. Plenty to happen, plenty to do. So, yeah, look, if you like this one, leave a like, subscribe if you want to keep up to date with more, and uh, leave a comment with any feedback or game suggestions or even directions you want me to take this game. I'm happy to go and get weird with it, so you just let me know. Thank you for watching. I'm Fatally Saintly, and I will see you next time. Cheers.